every need as front as one common fear the exam day itself sleepless nights racing hard beat and the thought that years of hard work will be judged in three hours i know how it feels because i have been there i am manikandran third year mbbs at chengalpet medical college and yes and i cracked neat in my first attempt and today i will share with you exactly how to handle the pressure keep your mind calm and give you a best performance when it matters the most but the question is how do you actually do when your heart is racing and your palms are sweating let's start with the first thing that usually ruins your exam day see our brain has two modes one is study mode where we study revise and solve mock test the other is exam mode where pressure fear and time limit switch on most students prepare only for study mode but forgot to prepare their mind for exam mode that's why sometimes top us lose confidence in the exam mode the key is simple your brain follows your breathing if you panic your beat becomes shallow and your brain stops thinking clearly so before you even look at the first question paper take a slow deep breath hold for 2 seconds and release do this 3 times you'll feel your heart rate slow down instantly once you have fixed this next biggest enemy on exam day is something even more dangerous your own panic cycle Imagine this you open the neat question paper and the first two questions seems impossible your brain screams i'm finished this is where 90% of students lose their confidence yes the trick never judge the exam by the first 10 minutes even top us skip the first few tough ones and come back later confidence build when you solve easy questions first so in those first 10 minutes train yourself to hunt for the question you know answer them and slowly your brain shifts from panic mode to control mode remember confidence is momentum start small build it and then attack the harder ones and when you spiral into panic you waste more energy than solving the paper itself but what if i told you there is a way to reset your mind instantly even in the middle of the exam hall now let's say your mind goes completely blank in the middle of the exam or tracing and sweating you feel like you forgot everything it happens to thousands of students every year here's a reset formula step 1 put your pen down close your eyes take three slow breath this literally reset your nervous system step 2 remind yourself you have solved hundreds of questions before this is just one more positive self talk is like flipping a switch step 3 start again with the next three series question don't fight your brain just guide back it gently the truth is even if you waste 3 minutes calming down you will save yourself from losing 30 marks because of panic see calm mind gives you power over the exam not the other way around but confidence is in just about breathing it's also about how you trust your preparation when facing the toughest questions most exam stress doesn't start in the exam hall it starts the night before students keep revising till 2 am proving notes checking whatsapp groups and they ruin their confidence before even starting the paper instead yes what you should do night before the exam revise only key formulas and diagrams nothing new Sleep at least seven hours. A tired mind makes double mistake. Morning of the exam day, do light revision of your strongest subject. It boosts confidence and puts you in a winning mindset. And very important, avoid discussing questions with your friends. That only adds unnecessary panic. Walk in with a calm mind, and half the battle is already over. And that trust will stop you from second guessing yourself. But yes, another exam day trap that most students fall into, wasting precious time because they don't know how to approach the paper strategically. Many students panic because they miss my next time. They spend 10 minutes stuck on a single tough question, and then suddenly 30 questions are left unanswered. Here's a golden rule: Round one. In the first pass, answer only the easy and medium questions. This builds momentum and confidence. Round two. Come back for the tricky ones. Round three. If time permits, attempt the toughest. Remember, meet is not about solving 100% of the paper. It's about maximizing more with minimum stress. Time management isn't just about the clock. It's about controlling your emotions under the clock. Once you master time, you've already won half of the battle. Now comes the final piece. Your mental state in the last 30 minutes. The do or die moment that decides your score. Yes, the truth. No one tells you about. The exam is not your enemy. Your own fear is. When you see the neat question paper, don't think what if I fail. Instead, think this is my chance to prove all my hard work. Shift your perspective. The exam is not deciding your future. You are deciding your future. One bad question won't ruin your life, but one calm mind can change your entire performance. Neat is not about being perfect. It's about being consistent and confident. Once you change your mindset, the exam hall becomes less of a battlefield and more of a stage where you perform. That last push decide whether you cross your dream cut off or not. And this is why I want to end with a message that every neat aspirant must hear before stepping into the exam hall. Listen carefully. You have already survived the hardest part. 
the preparation. Don't let a three-hour exam make you forget the thousand plus hours you put in. On exam day, walk in with your head held high. Tell yourself, I am prepared. I deserve this, and I will give my best. Because at the end of the day, need doesn't reward fear. It rewards three C: clarity, confidence, and courage. So when you pick up that pen. Remember this is not the end of your journey this is the beginning of your victory and if you are wondering how to maintain this calm confidence during the final 30 days don't miss my next video where i will give you the ultimate last month need strategy that toppers were by